Hello everyone, and welcome back to Bar. It's what you do with it. Coming to you with the surprise. We're gonna see if this works. I'm filming this without testing, so I have Scavenger AI as Team 2 on the left side of the map at, at, at the hardest difficulty. And then Team 3, which is the Raptor Defense, on the far right at the hardest difficulty. And me, with two Barbarian AIs set to Brutal as well, are going to try and defend against both other armies. Now, because they're all on separate teams, the Raptors, as well as the Scavengers, will fight each other. So we'll see what this does, and I am totally aware that it says only add one per game. And so does this. I don't know if that means only one or the other, or if it just means one Raptor defense and one Scavenger defense, because they might have conflicting things. So we'll see how this goes, and start from here. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, let's hope it doesn't crash, let's hope it doesn't crash, because this is going to be a lot of units on the uh, map at one time. Oh, loading skirmish AIs, is it going to have conflicting, okay, doesn't seem like it yet. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. I mean, I like that it's defensible. I just don't like... I didn't actually look at the map very well. Um, yeah. This is going to be interesting. It's got a lot of metal everywhere. Let's just hope... Hope I am capable of doing this. But let's just do him on metal extractors and once he pops in. We'll take you guys and set you on those things. And I'm gonna just take all the metal I can. And Two of you are going to start making turrets, and uh, there was an error for something, but that's okay. Once those two are done that, we'll see what happens. I mean, I should have set the grace period to the raptors at nothing, but this we're going to defend against the barbarians, I guess, until the raptors show up. Once the raptors show up. Yeah. We'll see how that works. Look at all their windmills already. Oh, there comes some... Some already. Now which two are gonna settle down? Once that's built. Oh, I didn't want all four, I wanted... I wanted two of you to go build... Metal extractors... Everywhere else. Ooh. I want you... To capture... All of that. I want the swarm... Thing. To get over here, we'll see what happens. I mean, we can bottleneck 
in here except with aircraft. Remember what happened last time? The aircraft kind of overweighed everything. Okay, so we have scavengers at 63 with 60. Apparently there's been a fight somewhere. Okay, and let's see if that thing can't build anything. It just assists in the production, so that's fine. Um, there's those two who are about to build. You know what, let's just build bots. They're the cheapest. We'll put it next to the base builder so that it can assist. We have plus 19 metal this time. Our economy is actually growing pretty strong, pretty fast. I like that. And So, as you can see, my AI companions are definitely doing what they're supposed to be doing. This time we're going to attempt to find... Let's build some metal extractors everywhere. And then we're going to choke point We're going to choke point the barbarians so that they can't start just randomly showing up. Kind of like what they did over here. They're already at tier 2. That's insane. Well, might as well start our tier 2 production and see what we can do. Okay, so you've done that. Let's go over here and see what's over here. If we can collect all this, that'd be awesome. I just want to capture as much as possible, so... Capture everything in this area. Capture a grave robber, which is something called a resurrection bot, which he auto... he can help capture as well. You know what, let's change that setting a minute. Uh, where is it? Shadows, no. no. Applies out of focus blur. We'll stop doing that so that I can just zoom in and it'll stop blurring out things. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Okay. No. Apparently I can't capture. Okay, and here comes the raptors. As you can tell, there have been some stuff. The raptors are spreading from right there. Okay. This is going to get interesting. And Oh! I'm getting attacked by something with massive rockets. Okay. What is this? The missile wall. Capture that now! Pop-up missile turret. Oh yeah, that's mine. That is mine. And then once you're done that, you build a radar tower. That way that missile wall can do whatever it wants. Oh yeah. And then you guys are gonna start building. Well, I guess continue building. But in this form. Oh, whoa, here comes the leg. So we have 600 scavengers, 38 raptors, and here comes the first assault. And I kind of figured it was going to be an aircraft assault, which is why I have so many of those anti-aircraft guns. Here comes mine. Yeah, their aircraft aren't making it past there for now, but here comes the main swarm body. 
which is what I was afraid of, which is, ooh, 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 look at how many I'm taking out. I am not, I won't say I'm, I'm good, but I have defended against that swarm nicely. Let's build a, that thing. I'm actually more curious as to see if the raptors are going to take out the um, scavengers. That's kind of what I'm curious about. There goes my commander. But since my commander is still somewhat, or not my commander, but since my stuff is still somewhat alive, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, their aircraft can't penetrate my invincible wall of that stuff. The raptors over here are just destroying their my base, my friend's base. Incoming another wave of raptors. I'm actually curious to see if it'll continue because of the fact that the scavengers and the queen or the raptors are two different kinds of enemies like they're on different teams as I said we're caught in the middle it's a very bad situation to be in but we'll see we'll see what happens Incoming bombers. Oh, they're doing a bombing run on them. That's okay. Here's my guys. They're gonna start picking off what they can of those guys. The aircraft are being shot down. Oh, up here is a literal swarm. Look at this. Man, that looks brutal. Dragon's Claw is just being paralyzed, apparently. But this is what I'm curious. Once these raptors find the scavengers, what happens? I mean, right now they're just chasing down. Yeah, see, this is my issue. I kind of figured this was going to happen. They, they're coming at me with... That's a tier 1, apparently. I don't think that's tier 1. I mean, as long as I have one thing that's still alive that can create stuff, I am not completely destroyed, so we're going to go over here with these two for now. That way I can come up here and see how this goes. Yes, so the scavengers and the raptors will attack each other. Okay. Wow. Those scavengers are just... Oh no. Oh no. They got my base builder. Okay, so... Let's get some more of those up. Why am I wasting energy, we ask? Good question. I haven't got a clue. Let my this base do what it's supposed to do while these guys collect trees so that I don't run out of energy as quickly because there goes some more of my stuff. I'm about to be wiped off the map pretty shortly here. I am fighting between raptors and scavengers. Oh wow. Oh we still have one AI commander left. But he's about to be... There we go. Okay, so we've lost, but now, let's watch this battle. It's 1,700 and some odd scavengers versus 319 raptors. Where is the biggest battle happening right now? The biggest battle seems to be over here. Nope, never mind. That was just a firefight. Okay, so... I know these guys can actually go into the water. Man, this is brutal. 
Look at this. I like this fight. 126 more raptors incoming. I'm still scared that my computer's gonna crash shortly here. Oh, that I'm hearing explosions left, right, and center. Feeling them on the screen. It's not me shaking a computer, that's literally the screen being shaken by these things. Oh. Those aliens are just getting removed by the tachyon lasers. The barbarian AI, or not the barbarian AI, I mean, the barbarian AI helped me, but the, the scavenger AI is just unloading. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I love the sound of those bombs dropping. 21% Queen Anger. 28 commanders. Let's see, once the boss's anger gets big enough, as well, as well as the queen's anger. I mean, once the queen shows up, uh, I'm pretty sure the rap will have a little more uh, wow wow so there is over wow I just jumped up to almost 2,000 units on the map just the particles and everything. There goes. Oh, they destroyed the tachyons, which that's gonna hurt for the scavengers. Honestly, I think the raptors are pushing forward. They have a furrow right here. But they're losing out over here pretty hard. I think it's the planes, these paralyzing. Wow! These paralyzing planes do a lot. Yeah, the raptors, I am starting to, I am, st the frame rate is starting to skip. With that many, uh, yeah. Man, this is good. I almost just want to spectate another one of these and just throw these two on a small map and watch them battle it out. Look at this. Look at how many of these things are dropping in. We are well above 2,000 units on the field now. Scavengers by themselves are almost at 2,500 units. My computer is starting to feel warm. Very warm. This is insane. Oh, it's starting to skip. Hardcore. The lag is real. I mean, it's just the movement lag right now. Everything else is still actually doing okay. There's a little bit of skipping. I'm just curious to see once the queen's anger gets big enough to watch the queen or the boss's anger gets big enough to watch either or fight it out because they usually remove quite a few units quite quickly. I just want to see if it'll actually happen. Wow. Wow. My computer's not doing too bad right now, actually, I just put my hand on it. 
it's warm, but it's not over hot. So we're okay for a little bit more. I'm gonna stay a little bit zoomed out for now just to watch it from here. And we can watch it through this because if I go into somewhere like here, for example, you can tell that the frame rate is just gonna start skipping all over the place. And yeah, it's not exactly the best. But if I zoom out to the, you know, to that, then at least I can, we can watch the overview until the Queen Banger gets big enough, or the uh, boss Banger gets big enough. And I'm hoping that I can hit about 10,000 units on the field before it crashes. I want to see 10,000. I mean, we're already at 4,800. So we're almost halfway there and my computer is hurting. The graphics are still at max as well, so that kind of helps. If I was to put my graphics a little bit lower, I mean, the frame rate is... Yeah. I might just have to do something here and... We'll just go to high instead of ultra. That doesn't work. Hey, I wonder. We'll just put the anti aliasing to four. Instead of eight times. And that might help. We'll put shadows to medium. Oh, look at Look at that. Just... Wow. Wow. That black cloud is just coming over the horizon. The storm approaches. The fun part about raptors and scavengers is once their barrows or the beacons start being destroyed, uh, the anger rises quicker. So the more barrows that are destroyed, or burrows, however you pronounce it, the faster the queen's anger will go up, and the sooner we're going to get the big monster killer on board. I mean, scavengers with 5,000 units on the field right now. And my computer, yeah, I'm going to have to... Um, let's go dang it. Let's go with that for now, just so that the water effect goes less, and hopefully that helps a little bit. I mean, it's not as nice looking, let's just go dynamic in a minute. Yeah, that helped a little bit. Just up here is this congregation of aircraft and robots. Wow. Wow. I mean... I'm pushing my computer, I guess. Well, we are officially at 5,500 units on the screen. And I will stop touching the settings. Yeah. This is just ridiculous. Look at this. I 
I don't think we're gonna get to 10,000. Not like this. That's insane. Just... Wow. I mean, surprisingly, it's the slowest I've ever seen Bar move, but I mean, I'll give it props because it's actually animating every single one of these. Everything is still animated, all the particle effects are still in place, like there's no random shot going somewhere where there was an enemy or anything like that. Like, the explosion hit him, and that's a normal explosion. It's just, you can see how it works now because it is so laggy because my computer can't keep up with the amount of units in this area. Wow. I... We're on wave 14. I don't think we're going to get to the 10,000. I mean... I don't even know if we can get 10,000. We've kind of capped them out, it looks like. They're not dropping anymore, it doesn't look like. Or am I wrong? Are they still dropping? Oh, they're still incoming, but I... I don't even know if they have a cap. I... No, doesn't look like it. There's more incoming right here. And I mean, they get about a hundred at a time when that drops in. Wow. So the other interesting thing is they don't actually lose. If all the burrows get killed, they don't lose. If all the commanders get killed, they don't lose. What ends up happening is the anger just goes up quicker and then a new burrow pops up in their deployment zone or a new commander gets dropped when they get these drops and it just keeps going like that. It's only saying 5333 for the scavengers, but I don't know. We're dropping over here and I don't think that many are getting killed over here. Like, I know some are getting killed just because I've gone up against burrows before, and if they have an, a defense uh, tentacle out, they are very brutal. I mean, it's almost unwatchable at this point. Like, these healing tentacles do stuff as well. Yeah. But I don't know, because there was a ton dropped over here. Some are getting dropped into here now. Some more, but I don't think that... Yeah. I think the scavengers are going to win this battle. I do. I do believe they will. Just based on sheer number output alone. Because we only have 178 scav uh, raptors left. Queen's Anger is going up quite fast though. So the reason I chose the epic mode instead of, well this is the highest mode you can go on with a queen still, still to come in, because the other mode after this one is endless. Neither of these two are endless, they do have an end. So yeah, there is that. Those are just commanders. I mean. They're at P3 now, which means that it's a Cortex Commander. Well, the Cortex Commanders. Which means that their drop-ins are going to be a little less units, but they're going to be heavier units, so... I say less, but... I don't think so. I don't think so at this point. I mean, wow. Okay, so we're down to 5,166 now. 
but we're just jump back up to 5260. 5309. 5331. Okay, but does it go above? 5333 though. I don't think it does. I, do, I actually think it's programmed to stop at uh, 5333. I think it's actually programmed to stop there. Which. Thank you. Because that would be ridiculous if it went above that for pop limit on these things. Dam busters, so seaplanes. That or that number's maxed out on there, but it's still dropping it more. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what what are we getting here? We're getting Lazaruses and we're getting bombers, so that's not tier three stuff yet. We're they're tier 3, whoops. That was a leg on my part. Well, I mean, those things are mean, but that's not a tier 3 for them, that's only a tier 2. These things will walk most players' bases pretty quickly. Okay, so this black cloud is coming closer to the heavierly armored um, burrows. They have healing tentacles, but they also have defense tentacles. And defense tentacles, as you can tell, blob and shoot really high powered explosives. Yep. So once this mass brings over here. I don't know what's about to happen. Yeah, I am... I think we were pretty close to 5,500 units on the field at one point. If not more. I was guesstimating between raptors and scavengers. I wasn't going to do the math right in my head there. Well, here they go, and here they come. Let's watch from closer, actually, because this is going to hurt the computer's um, graphics card, but. Yeah, it's still not too hot on my computer, which I'm surprised at. So if you look in the mini-map, you can kind of see where it's almost all purple. That is intense. Yeah, see, I kind of figured once their initial wave went over these tentacles that we'd drop in scavengers, which we did. We definitely did, but I'm waiting for more to show up. This is their heavily fortified area for the raptors, so... The scavengers are going to have a really difficult time dealing with all this. They're going to lose a lot of units here. And here comes some of their paralyzing mortars. I mean, we dropped way below 5,333 scavengers, but at the same time, they're dropping in swarms of planes again. But, I think I'm going to end this one here, and we're going to see if the queen or the boss comes in the next one. I can't seem to center the map. There we go. 
So thanks for watching this one. Hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the end on the next one to end this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.